<gasps> we have new eggs. We do, we do. We just heard from our curator, Lily, that our hognose snake, Lily, laid eggs. So oh we're very excited. Gosh. And hopefully they're good eggs. I, okay, before I peak, I just want to say I thought she wasn't going to breed for us this year because she slugged out on her first clutch. All the eggs were bad, so we didn't even film it. Apparently she double clutched though, and she I- She looks good. I can't hey, believe girl. it. I didn't, oh my gosh, they oh, look wow. great. They do <gasps> look great. Wow, we didn't even repair her yeah, after the first one. Why didn't you take to the first clutch, Lily? Yeah, we didn't want to encourage a second clutch because it's oh. kind of tough on them. So we didn't want you to overextend yourself, girl, but th that's a whole pile of new eggs. You're a pile of good eggs at us. We'll wow. take it. Okay, well, I guess we have more lavenders on the way. First things first, let's make sure she got them all out. Looks yep. like it to me. She's yeah. pretty skinny. Yeah, it's pretty obvious on hog noses okay. if they we'll have, have retained we'll have eggs. We'll have curator Lily give hog nose steak Lily more food. Okay, yeah, we can beef her back up after a second clutch. Girl, why is your second clutch so much better than the first? That's crazy. Okay, you take those. I'll take those. I'm gonna put hog nose Lily back. And we'll go set these up in incubation. Emily's trying to get the perlite ready off camera. Yeah, you guys have seen it a bajillion times. <laughs> you don't want to watch this every time, no, I'm sure. I'm sure they do. No, I would get bored of it. You would, but. I am saving you for We have diehard fans. I guarantee we can get some people in there that's like, I love no, watching no. you mix up perlite. You wouldn't want to watch this every single time, guys. Let's be real. Perlite is ready. Now I have to rinse my hands, which we also do off camera usually. I'll look at eggs. Well, Emily rinses her hands. Wow. They're so pretty, except for this one. They're like perfectly white. <laughs> I have a perfect idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> okay, now open your mouth. No, I'm not doing that. I intentionally missed them. Oh, I caught it. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> I okay. intentionally missed you would actually go for it. <laughs> All right, look at these. Okay, one slug, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lucky 13. Wow, 13 eggs, that's crazy. That's insane, and there's a 50% chance? Yeah, she, okay, so the mom, as you saw, had no spots. That's because she is a super conda. Basically, the conda gene acts as a patternless gene. If they have one copy of the conda gene, they have reduced spots. And if they have both copies of the conda gene, then they have no spots at all, which is the case for Lily. She is also het lavender, meaning she has one copy of the lavender gene, which doesn't express itself unless you have two. Okay. She was paired with Shane Co., who is a lavender. He just is lavender? Just lavender, Aww. not a conda or anything. So with these babies, all of them will be condas, and half of them will, in addition, be lavenders. So we're going for a lavender oh, condo. Yes! I didn't think we were going to get any lavenders this year. Yeah. So I kind of wrote them off, and I was like, well, we have lavenders from last year that we're raising up, but look, now we're going to yeah. get lavenders and again! we're getting at least seven. You think seven? If, if the luck is with us. Wow, and she even glued them together. I wonder why she did just a, such a poor job with her first clutch and then a fantastic job with the second. Don't really know why. Usually when they have a double clutch and you don't pair them, a lot of the eggs are infertile or slugs. But in this case, they're good. It surprises me. Was she paired with the same male last year? Yes. Yep, okay. same male. So we Maybe know. Maybe she used old uh, stuff flat from the last breeding. Maybe. And she stored onto this one for some reason. I don't know. I'm just stoked that we're going to get some lavenders. Yeah. That's my favorite morph, especially lavender condas, because they vary so much. Some condas have stripes, some have just a few spots. You know, each one is different. Well, even the lavenders, some are pretty good lavenders, some are pink. Some yeah, are some are silvery. Gray. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have some really fun babies in here. And these are gonna be like the last clutch to hatch. Yeah, they will. We have, we're at the point this year where we're almost getting some eggs to hatch at this point. They're due really soon. Yeah. And here she is laying them at the end of laying season. I thought we were past laying season, but that means you all are gonna have to wait, including us. We're gonna have to wait for baby <laughs> lavenders. Until... Just you guys, we get a time machine. Yeah, we do. We're gonna zoom in the future. A little baby egg. And the last little egg can go right there. Okay, I'm gonna try not to cover them up too much actually, cause I don't want them to get too humid, I just remembered. So what's the theme for these eggs? So we actually had a fan whose name I can't remember and I can't find the email now, but they requested that we do a flag, like a country flag theme for eggs. And I think that's a great idea. And now after seeing the results from the bull snake clutch and the egg with the orange color experiment, you guys haven't seen it yet. They haven't hatched, but I'm, I have a pretty good idea of what's gonna happen. And I feel confident using colors again. Yeah. So we are gonna use some colors and I think, oh, and the fan was from Canada. So they requested oh. that we do the Canadian flag. 
leg okay. as well. So let's do a flag clutch. I think I'm like legally obligated to do this one first. Israel? <laughs> yes. Going with the good old stars and bars. I'm not counting the stripes, guys. Or I know it's wrong. American flag. Yeah. Is that France? Yep, France. Okay. Japan. Yep. Czech Republic. Oh, okay. Yeah, we never got that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. Why does this one have to be so difficult? Yeah, you're doing UK. Yep, UK. There you go. <laughs> Austria. Oh. Yeah, it's just red, white, red. But I had to outline it because of the white. Is that Sweden? Denmark. Denmark? Okay. Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, the moss got in the way, kind of messed it up, but yep. there's Sweden. Uh, I was trying for China with a star oh, right there. I see. Eh, it kind of turned into yep. reverse Japan, but that's okay. Yeah. There, Netherlands. I do think it's funny that most flags are like stripes. Yeah, just three main colors. That one's Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Bulgaria. Oh, duh. I know what we're missing. You're missing Australia. That's exactly what oh, I'm drawing. Okay, yeah. There we go. Good enough without going overboard. Yeah. Ta-da! I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's like all the important countries anyway. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> Done with that. And we've got um, Lily and Shane go explanation point. Explanation point? Explanation point. Uh, it's our day off. Don't judge me. Six. 19. That's how late these were laid. Yeah. Man. All right. Into the incubator. Wow. It's a... Uh... A lot of eggs. So many eggs. It's a oh pretty decent gosh. year, actually. Yeah, it's been a wonderful year. No false water cover eggs, I noticed, but that's okay. Maybe. All right, so gonna put you in here, right in the middle. Here. Yes! We can, like, slide this over and slide this over. Oh, there we go. Mm, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that was our first clutch for today's video. And now we're gonna go back in time using that time machine we mentioned earlier to check out another clutch of snake eggs. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! All right, so we had the, the one variable cane clutch. Do we have any more eggs from you guys? Nope, not there. You're still chunky. Any in here? I think that one actually was the one that gave us the eggs. What about in here? Oh, 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 nothing. All right, well, nothing there. Oh. Yeah, I found. Focus camera. I there beat we. you. Found eggs before you did. There's some in here with Daisy, Ooh. the rat corn. Daisy, she's the last rat corn to lay eggs this season. We got oh, a clutch from each of them. Uh, yeah, they all three laid a clutch. This was our test year with all three because two of the three laid slugs last year. So we're trying to decide: should we retire them? Are they just too old to lay good eggs? But take a look at this. So oh, far, I see some. Okay looking eggs. Yeah, I mean, this year Pixie and Darla, the other two rat corns, they're part of the trailer park girls, the three rat corns, they passed the test. They all laid really good, and they both laid really good eggs. But Daisy here, oh, second year in a row. Well, that uh, looks like five. One, two, one, two three, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, that one might be all right, so it looks like five. This egg is, I uh, maybe we can incubate Let's it just try. in case. Here, let's move her over to the cart. <sighs> Daisy, you tried. Look at her, she's okay. Yeah, and did you get them all out? That's my first question. She was really big. I was actually expecting either more eggs or bigger eggs, but I mean, she feels empty. She just must be a big rat corn. But look at these eggs. These eggs look good. This egg looks good. That egg uh, looks eh. Yeah, I don't think that one's gonna hatch. And the rest are all bad eggs. This one bad? Uh, yeah, that's more than 50% sluggy, so I th don't do it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah no see, problem. that was coming. Well, I'll just take these and throw them at you. Oh. Okay, so these are our good eggs. That, gonna be... Those went under the rack. Oh no, that's gonna be gone <laughs> forever. Okay, well, that egg isn't coming back. So this one will just detach from the obvious slug egg or infertile egg. But this egg is like in between. Look at that. Yeah. If that pops out, they're... it's less than 50% sluggy, so that one might still hatch. So we have six it... potential eggs. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah, those are garbage. Let's put her back, and I guess let's set up our six eggs into an incubation tray. We're starting to run out of containers. Yeah, that was a surrendered container. Yeah. It we... says Tatooine on it. Yep, that was a fat-tailed gecko, I think, surrendered in this. It's obviously okay. been cleaned, but you know what? Since we're low on containers, I'm going to use this for eggs now. It's not a container we would normally use for snakes anyway because it doesn't have the positive locks. So we kind of just use these for eggs and live rodent sales, I suppose. So, perlite, water, and the clump test. Oh, not dripping and retaining shape. I think we're good. 
So I think you did a little too much water. It's perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's supposed to be there. Is it? Yep. I meant for it to have just a little extra water for good taste. Good measure. Good measure. Yes. <laughs> okay. So these eggs, I think I'm going to separate them all just in case some of them go bad. They'll be easier to remove. So we've got one there. They won't go bad. They're going to be perfectly happy and healthy. Mm, this one's our iffy egg. I guess we'll see. This one. Oh, and the rest are all attached. Okay. So we've got one to detach. Okay. One. That one's kind of sluggy looking too. There's a bit yeah. of a yellow spot. Let's separate these. How old is da Daisy? This is Daisy. Yeah. Daisy is ooh, probably like 10 or 12 years mm, old. So she's getting up there. She is starting to get up there. So it's not a surprise that these, this clutch wasn't very successful. But I mean, her siblings laid great clutches this sure. year. So but she might have been the last one to be paired with Buck, too. Maybe, yeah, that, that definitely could have been. So these eggs are denting in a little bit due to lack of hydration, but that's okay. The moss was just a little bit dry in the lay box, so they will rehydrate here in the perlite. So next, we're gonna mark the uppermost side of the egg. What theme should we do? We have six eggs. What six comes eggs. in sixes? Elements and stuff? I don't know. I think there's typically four elements, but we can make new ones. Yeah, yeah. let's do elements. Okay, that sounds good to me. And actually, Ed's family is here yeah. watching us film. They're all over there sitting on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> And whether they like it or not, they're gonna help us mark these eggs because they're here. So let's see, I will do the first one. Uh, if we're doing elements, I'm gonna do, I'll take the easy route to make them do harder ones. There's a drop of water. There, water. Water. Uncle Kenny? Oh, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> you have some colors at your disposal. Yep. All right, pick an egg and uh, draw on it, okay. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's do, how about fire? Okay, beautiful. Looks like fire to Looks me. Looks like fire to me. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> and Thank Tammy? You. Let's see, so we have water, fire. What are the other ones? I'm oh. gonna do the air. Air, oh yeah, that's right. Air and- So not really elements, more- I think that's traditional elements, isn't it? Well, isn't elements like the periodic table? Oh, that's true. Oh, that'd be a good theme. Yeah. Doing the elements on the periodic table. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Like wind. Oh yeah, nice. That's absolutely air. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> that means next is Ed's mom. Yeah. Who's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> what element are you going to pick? I mean, I guess if we're doing the main four, I think earth is the last earth one. Earth is the last one. Yeah. So we can do the earth round or we can do land with trees on it. Oh, up to you. That's or you can make up a new element altogether. <laughs> yeah. What's a new element? Uh, pick no. up new elements. Oh yeah. We're going to do grass. Oh wow. We're getting multiple colors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a rainbow. Here's a tree. Oh, I see. Earth. Earth. Nice. Perfect. We'll turn this around so then you guys yeah. can see the yeah. tree. So Earth. Yeah. Earth, wind, fire, water. We could do like plasma. <sighs> that would work. That's I was thinking stain. lightning. I don't know. Lightning would work. Would too. that work? Yeah. Ooh, what does what does plasma look like? Uh, basically like lightning. It's a ball of pla pl ball of light. Okay. So what if I did like I don't know something like this? Sure. Something shiny and plasma-y. If you put fire in a microwave, you make plasma. So that's what it looks Not like. Not that you've ever done that growing I mean, up. I don't know what you're talking about. Not that you had a microwave in a pole shed when you were a teenager and you'd like to experiment with CDs and Those are cool. fire and- That's cool. Don't try that at home, kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have plasma and, oh, should we do lightning? Sure. Lightning or lava? Lava, oh, oh lava, I like that. How do I draw just lava? A Can red I... stream. I'll do it like it's bubbling up there. Oh, I thought that was a wave. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. It kind of looks like a slowpoke with a tail on the wrong end. It kind of does. I'll add some like charred bits to it. There we go. Lava. Perfect. Our, our elements clutch. <laughs> okay. I like it. Today's date is 530 and this is Daisy and Buck. All right. Daisy has had two bad years in a row, so... Hopefully some of these hatch. She might have to get retired or I don't know what we're gonna do, but it was kind of a test year for her. Anyway, let's put these in the incubator. Oh, the incubator. It's filling up. Yep. Wow, I'll I'm just- in there. Yeah, there's a perfect spot there. How are some of these other eggs doing? Wow, mm -hmm. that looks great Wow. Still. Yeah, the waffle and penny. And this is- That one looks wonderful. Oh, that's Daisy. Oh, wait, no, we oh. just had Daisy. Wait. Shoot, who was that? Did we call her the wrong Maybe name? Maybe it wasn't Daisy, let me go check. Oops, sorry. You're wrong, Daisy's fine. Yeah, Daisy's fine. Her name is Darla. I mix yeah. them up all the time. Yeah. 
Okay, Darla and Buck. Yeah. Sorry, I named her the, or called her the wrong name. Okay, back in the incubator. Well, Buck, did you decide you only wanted two girlfriends or two sets of babies this year instead of three? I mean, he half, you know, with the other girl, Some so. Some of the eggs are okay from Darla. Yeah, so it could have been worse, but maybe three ladies is too many ladies for Buck. Yeah. Who knows? That's okay, we still love you. Yeah, you did. You made two very good clutches and one not so good clutch. Better than last year, though. We only yeah, got one clutch last exactly. year. Exactly. Yeah, so at least he's working a little bit harder yeah, this year. Yeah, you're doing somewhat of your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at those big derpy eyes. Yeah. Yeah, Buck is actually getting pretty old, too, now yeah. that I think of it. He's one of the first he's kind of scaleless. upper teens, isn't he? Uh, he's somewhere in his teens. So yeah. I don't know exactly where. I'd have to look it up. But yeah, he's an old Texas rat snake, and he's so friendly. Like, for a Texas rat, that's unusual. But, and that's why they breed a lot of corn into Texas rats, is to make them friendlier. But he's awesome, and he's pure Texas rat. So, thanks for watching. Thank you to Ed's family for making a cameo in today's video. Sorry, you're on camera again. <laughs> yeah, you guys get to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And let's hope that some of these awesome eggs start hatching in 55 to 60 days.